I don't want to do this. I mean, I do, but I don't. I'm scared. <laughs> first things first. That should do it. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reading hate comments in today's video. I never thought I would make a video like this. For the last five years that I've been doing YouTube, every once in a while when I would receive a hate comment, I would simply just delete it and forget about it. There are only a handful from years ago that I still remember to this day, either because they were super funny and like wrong, or they were incredibly hurtful. I always knew from the get-go to delete them and move on. So much so that in 2020, when my channel started to really grow, I went from hitting 20,000 subscribers, which was my goal for the year, to hitting 30,000 subscribers like a month later to God knows how much by the time this video goes up, but I'm incredibly grateful and I'm so happy that a lot of my videos are receiving such wonderful feedback. But obviously with videos that do better than others, it increases the chances of hate comments because a lot more people are viewing the video. So this year I really started to get a ton of hate comments. Not to mention I started doing something kind of controversial that a lot of people have different opinions about and that is my videos on OnlyFans. All of that being said, I started to receive a ton of hate comments this year and I did what I always would do. I would delete them and move on until it started to hit me that I should be saving these. I never thought I would regret deleting hate comments, but I really regret deleting some because there was this one pivotal week where I got so many that made me feel so bad and I knew the only thing that would make me feel better is if I flipped it and made a video like this responding to hate comments just so we can laugh at them together, so we can roast them, so we can just prove them wrong. That being said, I started to screenshot them and make a folder on my laptop of all the hate comments I've received just within like the last couple of months and there are some that I wish I saved. People would leave comments saying, ha ha ha, she looks so bad. Making fun of my skin, saying I can't stop staring at those zits, like nothing is as blinding as the zits on your face. Someone said that on OnlyFans, instead of charging people for photos, I should just charge people to pop my zits, $500 a zit, I'd be a millionaire. Like it's just so mean and uncalled for, so I wish that I saved those instead of deleting them. Some other ones I remember include like, I clicked off as soon as I heard her voice, or this is so cringy, she's so cringy. She looks looks bad, like what is she, like, if you can think of it, I'm sure I've gotten it. Before we get started though, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really does help and oh my god guys, please, just because of what we're doing today, I could really use your support. Definitely leave a comment, leave a nice comment please. I don't want this to encourage more hate comments, that's another thought in my head is like, am I just egging on the people that left hate comments? I don't know, but if you enjoy, we will definitely be doing a part two because I continue to get them on a daily basis. And make sure you're subscribed and have the bell turned on. I shout out the first comment on my social media, so be sure that you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat as well. I also, even today, posted a hate comment on my Instagram stories. So if you want to see more like in the moment clapbacks, definitely follow me over on Instagram. With all that being said though, let's open up this folder and see what the internet hates about me. The first one I'm going to start with is actually one that I made a TikTok off of. Laugh out loud. Just because it was so ridiculously insane. The TikTok did really well. It hit like 10 thousand views in a week. It was also that TikTok and kind of like mocking the hate comment that really encouraged me to start collecting the hate comments, stop deleting them, save them, and make this video. So if you saw that TikTok, you already know what's up. But we're gonna start with one that was left on my why I like chose a college that I hated video. This comment's something else. One of the worst videos I've ever seen relating to college decisions. Judging by your weird, slutty, corset lacing top, you should probably have taken a few years off from high school and given more more thought to what you want to do professionally before you attend a school that costs nearly $60,000 a year. Porn, perhaps? Bad weather? Seriously? You're from Minneapolis and you think weather in Ohio is bad? Michaela, you need to develop a relationship with yourself before you can develop them with others. And the top that she's referring to, the weird corset slutty top, is a very classic 2017 trend where it just ties in the front with like a shoelace. And I did know what I want to do. I went for my writing and I got it. What's funny is I get a lot of positive comments on that video from people that live in Ohio being like, she's so right about the weather. So to each his own, but moving on. You women are too much a real job. 
So obviously I think this one is from an OnlyFans video. I'm not going to highlight too many hate comments that I get on my OnlyFans videos because they're so redundant. People that don't agree with it, you know what they'll say. And a lot of people just say I have to get a real job or I'm a slut. Okay, this one's kind of funny. It's on a old apartment haul video that I did, like KK and Baby J grocery haul style, so it was really quick and efficient, and a lot of people liked that. This girl, though, on the other hand, had something else to say. Half of the things she didn't actually show, and because she had shown these in a different video, and for those who had never seen you before, what am I supposed to do? Watch 10 videos to find out what you bought? Plus, why do people make a video when it's incomplete? Like, so many things she said she couldn't show because they weren't shipped, or it was a secret, or the dresser that was upstairs. Like, she couldn't just show a picture from it. Too much work for it. I know, right? <laughs> I dare you guys to go watch this video. It's like a huge apartment haul, literally boxes and bags behind me. It did really well too, because I literally show everything that I bought, except for huge Ikea furniture that was upstairs ready to go in boxes. I don't remember what I mentioned that I couldn't show in the moment because I literally had everything out, but it's okay, go off. Ah, uh, my favorite. Dark hair on girl's forearm, ew. Okay, so if you've seen my biggest insecurities video that I posted about a year ago, I basically highlight all of my big insecurities in that video to help kind of diminish them, to show that they're just my insecurities and not everyone notices that about me. And having kind of darker arm hair, because I do have darker features, was on that. That's always been my biggest insecurity since grade school. I think any other girl with dark features can relate, you know, to being called a monkey in second grade or have boys tease you or feel pressured to have to shave your arms, but then have have girls make fun of you for shaving your arms like you can't win and it took me in like until my early 20s to really be like what the heck I don't care anymore like screw that the people that matter don't care and those that care don't matter so I knew it was only a matter of time before I would start getting them on YouTube and it does hurt because it is something I'm insecure about and I will get laser hair removal on them in the far near future at the same time it's like I don't care because I'm fine with it but even my little brother will be like, why are your arms so hairy? And he's like so young, it's innocent. And I tell him like, it's natural. Like mom has it too. And that's the thing, it's genetic. So like my mom has it, my dad is Asian. So I get my dark hair from him and my mom has arm hair. So it's just, it is such a normal thing. I hate that it's been something that I've like been insecure about my whole life. And I hate that people notice it and think it's gross. Screw you. LOL, you can't handle being single. LOL, you want a man so bad. LOL, you get on here cause you bored. LOL, first of all, Andy. LOL, Anderson. LOL, you look like you're 90 years old. So who are you to comment on my relationship status? And I'm pretty sure what made this funny is I wasn't even single in the video. Like at that point I was still dating my ex. So I was so confused. And yeah, I get on YouTube because I'm bored and can't handle being single. You right, LOL. I'm bored. I get on YouTube because I'm bored. Okay, this is kind of fun. I'm feeling good. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. <laughs> this one was kind of funny too. Your car is not my type. I don't like your car. I like Honda. Well, Debbie Smart, your car is not my type. I don't like your car. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know why I gotta hate comments about my car. Like, it's not your car, so why do you care? A video about Leo's and she's talking about herself for the first two minutes. Not a great start. Okay. <laughs> a video about a poem that I wrote about dating a Leo. Stop making pornography. <laughs> Let me know when you realize why this comment is so funny. That's fine, because I don't make that anyway, but your name is literally Bend Over. Damn, you don't even have to be that cute to make bank on there. He's referring to my OnlyFans video, and I get a lot of comments about how I'm too ugly to do OnlyFans, so thanks. Did you paint your nails with whiteout? Because geez, LMAO. Geez, LMAO, no, and you can still see they're chipped. It's just white nail polish. God, sometimes people will just like find anything to give you hate on. And I think having white nails looks so crisp. It matches everything. Okay, Lisa Frank, my OG 90s sticker girl, Lisa Frank, gotta love her, left me this hate comment. You're disgusting. You could do something better with your life. So many girls get their pictures and videos leaked and ruin their life. It's not worth it. Plus the people who are making money are doing real porn. So sad. I couldn't resist from replying to this one, so I did. Your. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Another great comment. 
you are four at best, five maybe, after a few beers. Well, in my book already, you're a zero, so bye. Girls really have it easy these days. I felt a little gutsy this night, and I responded with just trying to catch up with the men. You're f***ing ugly, get off OnlyFans. Again, you're. <laughs> also, that's fine. I don't think I'm ugly, and obviously a lot of pe other people don't because I've made $35,000 on that website so far in like six months, so that's okay. Dude, you speak too much. I never understood these type of comments. Like, it's a freaking YouTube video. What do you want me to do? Just like sit silent at the camera for 10 minutes? I have to talk. It's kind of the point of making a video. <laughs> Other ways to make money. Start selling on Depop, eBay, etc. What a horrible site just to show your body parts and bodies. Awful generation. I didn't realize body parts and bodies were two separate things, but I was also feeling pretty gutsy to this one because I responded with, what's funny is your generation is our biggest customer. <laughs> So who's the awful generation now? We just found a way to monetize it. Dumb. Take some time and clean your room and get someone to correct your cheap eyelashes cause damn. Bro, I am sorry, but these eyelashes are like $150 for a full set. They ain't cheap and they look quite nice. Thank you very much. Gotta say, you sound like a bitch and I've never even heard of Brewster. <laughs> Gotta say, you sound like a real asshole. Like, Thanks? I'm sorry, Tim, but what Tim says about Michaela says more about Tim than it says about Michaela. We're not even halfway done. Ugh, wear a bra. <laughs> <sighs> you must be new here. Good lord, and people pay to listen to you? Talks a lot, doesn't may much. <sighs> Thank you, less is more. Moving on. This one's pretty clear and simple. Disgusting. What is wrong with this world? Honestly, Parker, a lot more than just my videos. This is super pathetic. What's even more pathetic is I bet you gave yourself that one thumbs up. Big yikers. Okay, no one gives a fuck about your Snapchat. <laughs> So this comment is on my one of my OnlyFans videos, I'm sure, because I always make sure to mention that when I promoted my OnlyFans on my Snapchat account, instantly Snapchat deleted my account, and I say it as a warning to anybody else because I lost five, six years of photo video, video memories on that app, so I didn't want that to happen to somebody else. I didn't cry, it wasn't a big deal when it happened, I was obviously kind of sad, but I just made a new account right away and moved on with life, it was not a big deal. I mention it for the sake of your Snapchat. <laughs> Samantha. You talk too much. Get to the point. YouTube is like my therapy. It's my video. I'm gonna talk about whatever for however long I feel fit. A very average looking woman making thousands from lonely young men. Pathetic. On both ends of the spectrum. I hate how so many people are calling me average or below average. I don't give a crap. I know I'm not a supermodel, but I had really good self-esteem. I think I still have good self-esteem. So can we just stop calling me average? Because all that matters is that I think I look great and I don't need the internet coming at me thinking that I'm below average, a four at best, and I'm too ugly to be making money online, when clearly I'm making a lot, so I've gotta be doing something right. I got mixed feelings about this chick. Okay, so I wasn't like too offended by this comment, but I thought it was really funny because I ended up responding to it. I just wrote, same. <laughs> yeah, I've got some mixed feelings too. Your head looks- oh yeah, I remember this one, because it kind of hurt. Your head looks swollen, and the mole on the side of your face looks like you finished eating a chocolate bar and missed some, dot dot dot. Well, fake slayer, which you are, you sound super fake. Thank you for commenting on my beauty mark. Back when I would do modeling, and I know I did that video where I exposed my modeling days, so you can check it out above or down below. One of the photographers that I worked with a lot, she'd always ask me post-production, like, do you want me to leave your mole in the- frame or do you want me to airbrush it out? And I was insecure about it back then because it did make my face look a little like not as symmetrical. So I said, cover it up, get rid of it. Now I think it's fine. And to be honest, Alicia Marie, we love her. She's the queen of YouTube. She has a pretty big beauty mark on her face as well. And I remember a few years ago before I religiously watched her channel the way I do now, I used to think like, 
wow, she's so brave, or I can't believe she like posts without any makeup, without on her face. Like to me, it was a big deal. And now I watch it, I don't notice it. Like it does not matter. And I hate that I even had those thoughts when I was younger, but I think they stemmed from a insecurity of my own because of very small moles of my own where I'm like, oh, now I don't care. I don't notice it. I didn't think anybody else did too. But the fact that you did probably means that you have a similar insecurity about the way that your face looks. And I'm not even going to start to comment on that. Okay, so then the same person on a different video really went off and she wrote this. Your face looks like it's swollen and the mole on the side of your cheek is ugly. That's all I'm staring at. None of you seem to think that it's not wrong that Trisha Paytas stole $16,000 from a struggling single mother and none of you slobs on OnlyFans have the compassion to email OnlyFans and tell them to take Trisha Paytas. You, you're all ugly, disgusting slob who want to lay on their backs to make an income. You can't even take a little bit of compassion and email OnlyFans. Like what? I wouldn't be proud, honey. You're flashing your ugly self all over the internet for ugly old man to be aroused to and you're smiling in the camera because you have no class or morals in life. I'm just going to ignore all of the grammar mistakes and spelling mistakes because although nobody on the internet thinks that I have an education or I'm smart, I do have a degree in writing, creative writing, and I have five publications since I was 18 years old. So. When I got this comment in, I did not know the drama that was going on with Trisha at the moment. I almost don't even want to say her name because I'm worried it will demonetize the video. So TP, <laughs> TP. I had no idea what the drama was. Not everyone that does OnlyFans knows this one person and her one drama. So what this commenter is referring to is when TP signed up for OnlyFans, she used another girl's referral link to sign up for her account. I don't even think that Trisha like knew that she did this, but when this girl started to post that she was making $16,000 a month based on 5% of what Trisha was making because she used her link, Trisha unconnected her device so that she would not be under her referral link so she wouldn't benefit from her and make passive income. Behind the scenes though, apparently these two girls were not friends, they had drama, they were not close anymore, so Trisha contacted OnlyFans and removed herself from her referral programs. And this commenter is upset that all of us that are on this platform don't email OnlyFans asking to give the money back to this person's referral link and that we're all lazy and lay on our backs to ugly old man because of it. So get your facts checked, sweetie. And honestly, none of that ish involves you. I don't know why you're standing up for this drama so much because it's so stupid. Even if I wanted to, I would not include myself in email only fans. It's BS. <laughs> but. Thought. Okay. Good Lord, this girl talks a lot. Is she on meth? Again, how would I make a video without talking? I don't get it. Nice hairy arms, baby. See, I was a little confused by this one because it's like obviously a diss, but they were nice about it and they called me baby. So like, thanks. <laughs> You're legit so petty. I wish you knew how petty and how much of a girly girl you are before you came to Worcester. Like you should have done more research I'm not gonna say that word. If you wanna know something funny, when I got this notification on my phone from this comment, I literally read it as, you're legit so pretty. I wish you knew how pretty you were. <laughs> and then I opened it later to respond and I was like, oh, she meant petty. <laughs> also, if me being a girly girl, to quote you, means I shouldn't go to a school, do you see how messed up that is? That's so wrong. They have sororities at this school. There are a lot of people more girlier than me. This is honestly so pathetic. You're probably the same person who argued for female equality, but when you realized that you couldn't do the work to get somewhere, you just turned to softcore porn. GTFO. Your ah. No, I'm not gonna do it. Cause if I start on this topic, it's gonna be a really long video and I'm gonna get comments saying I talk too much <laughs> again. Quit being such a crybaby. Act like a goddamn adult. Just hearing you talk about your fragility gets on my nerves. The world is a cruel place and you can't just break down at every turn. Or maybe I'm judging you by a man's standards. Again, so many things wrong and problematic with this comment. Yeah, we're just gonna move on. Sounds stanky and skanky. Okay, the internet is Wonderful place, I love the internet. Thank you guys. What hairy arms, Jesus. Guys, stop. 
up. I know, I know, and I don't care. And if you care, you don't matter to me. Cheekbones are, okay, <laughs> this one, I don't think is like a hate comment, but it's also just a weird comment that I wanted to include because I thought it was funny. Cheekbones are so suckable, lol. <laughs> I think, thank you? I don't know. I do have very defined cheekbones, I know that. Good luck to ya, because you're dumb. Should I be a brat right now and throw out the fact that I had a 4.0 GPA, a degree, and a published writer, and I run my own business? Bunch of selfish and self-obsessed little minds. Go help people. I'm getting heated and I just have to move on. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it. You speak way too fast. <laughs> you must type too fast because it's supposed to be T-O-O. -O. All right, this one I got this morning, and this is what I shared on my Instagram story, but lovely John Meadows. I take that back. Disgusting John Meadows. See, look at what hate comments are doing to me. Instead of spreading love, I'm spreading hate. <laughs> anyway, he commented, get a job. Not once, not twice, but three times on three separate videos, as well as replying that to some sweet girls that commented on my videos telling them to get a job. I applaud this one girl that clapped back right away, happily saying, really, why did I think about that? Thanks. I love her. That was great. If you're watching this, you're amazing. I also decided to clap back today and I said, I own a business, but go off. I posted this on my Instagram story and I got a lot of replies from people. A lot of people were saying, okay, boomer. So that would have also been a appropriate response to this man, but he didn't stop there because on one of my videos, he decided to say, you're average at best. I wouldn't pay a dollar to see your boring pics. <coughs> say it with me, your. You are average at best. I am average at best, apparently, because everybody is telling me I'm below average, average, ugly, not pretty enough to be on OnlyFans. And that's fine. I don't need your little dollar bill, John, because I've got 35,000 of them waiting for me on OnlyFans. Thank you very much. And with that, we're done reading hate comments for now. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I always love watching YouTubers react to hate comments. We can laugh about it together, and it does help me realize that for the most part these comments are dumb and not accurate and then you know I also get the reassurance from people that do care and do like me just to kind of help me feel better <laughs> but yeah if you enjoyed this video please let me know and I'll definitely do it again because like I said some of those comments came in just this morning so I get them every single day I'm sure there'll be a part two if not more hate comments aside I always appreciate your comments I do see them I try to respond to every single one and I do see you the people that leave nice comments and say sweet things and that support me so thank you very much can we please just stop leaving hate comments there is no benefit fit to them. It's really stupid and I hope that this just showed you a little bit of the amount of hate that I get. But thank you for bearing with me through all of these. I really appreciate your love and support. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Definitely check out the videos I mentioned in the description box down below and make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys real soon with my next video. Bye! I was so hurt and upset that I never gave him another chance.